Guest uh, just wrapped up a really cool tour uh, of all of the, the very, very, very fascinating jewelry here in Israel. Please welcome Jonathan Wall of the 92nd Street Y in New York. He runs the jewelry program. Hello and welcome to the show and thanks for making time to come here. Thank you, Emily. So, you know, first of all, you know, the 92nd Street Y, I lived in New York and I know what, a, what an amazing place uh, it is. And it's so interesting because the history is, is that it was founded, you know, 140 years ago, you know, after the YMCA, you know, didn't allow women women, didn't allow Jews, so this was kind of, you know, set up as a cultural institution, correct? Yes, and it has become one of New York City's cultural anchors, and I'm always amazed and astounded what the programming that goes on in my own institution. There's yeah, so many things with, so, with such a diverse history. That's the thing, like, I took a pottery class there, but then you could have someone from, like, a Wall Street company come and do a class on, you know, how to be a woman in, in a corporate environment. It's, a, it's the breadth of the programs is, is amazing. So tell us about the jewelry program in particular. It's very unique in its own right. It is. Uh, we're the oldest open studio in New York City, and we're the largest program of its kind in the nation. So. Um, we offer 60 classes a week in all aspects of jewelry and metalsmithing, mm -hmm. from for beginners to goldsmiths to the only Judaic and metalsmithing program in the country. Wow. Yep. We host a, a really fascinating jewelry talk series. Deline Volandes, um, the editor of Town & Country magazine, just signed on to um, curate a lecture Amazing. series with us about jewelry. Uh, pales in comparison to the larger lecture series, but it's going to be fantastic. So now also some of the pieces, you know, I imagine a large percent actually go on to have careers in jewelry from this program. But, you know, we it's the whole breadth of students. Some people come and take one class, other students come to put their skill set together to launch their lines. Mm -hmm. um, and yes, we have a really interesting success story. Adriana um, Bussell Reifel, um, just had Beyonce wear her cuff bracelet on wow. the Grammys. So How cool is very, that? Very, and that's very, a very such cool. sense of pride. And also you have a very cool ring. You also host, you know, successful artists from other countries to come and be part of the program. Yes. Not only on top of the 60 classes we offer a week in jewelry alone and weekend workshops of international artists. We are the only we offer the only residency program for a jeweler in New York City. So show us this ring. We were talking about this ring. Yeah, this is um let me see if I can get yep, it on we there. Can see it. Goran Kling from Sweden. He was our first artist in residence last summer. Uh, he does amazing work that fuses pop cultural and traditional jewelry techniques. Right. Uh, so he's here for a month. We organize um, conversations with curators, some pop-up uh, opportunities at the Brooklyn Museum. Um, How cool for him and to be able to come be in New York for a minute. Now let's talk about this trip in yes. particular. This wasn't just a trip of bringing people that want to shop. No, <laughs> this is uh, this is my fifth trip abroad um, focused on jewelry. It's a very highly curated um, and specialized jewelry trip. We in each country, we I try and show the breadth of what's happening in the jewelry culture there. So from historical collections to contemporary jewelers, mm -hmm. um, we've been to Italy, India, Japan, Vienna, Prague, and now finally Israel, which is an amazing place for all the reasons I just mentioned from historical to contemporary Right, and jewelers. I mean, and this is great because, you know, there was all these programs at the Israel Museum, which I didn't know. Like, like you were able to get both worlds in one trip in, uh, to the museum. Uh, absolutely. Well, the Israel Museum is a great example of what hap what's here in Israel. Um, the Judaica collection there, regardless of your ethnicity or religious orientation, the silversmith thing that exists as, you know, from a craftsperson's point of view is spectacular and from across the world. Mm. Um, and they also have an incredible collection of ethnic jewelry right now, which is also mine. And what would you say overall of the about the talent and the style of Israel as compared to some of the other countries you've been? I think each country has its own style for sure, but you know, we live in such an international age that it's hard to sometimes really define what specifically is really. Mm -hmm. I can tell you this, for the size of this country, the amount of talent and um, expertise and design sense is really, really high. Yeah, I bet. Country. So you we, saw that. There is a lot of creative energy here. Absolutely. Which is and what's one of the great things about Israel is like, you know, there is an opportunity for artists to find ways of, of uh, you know, expressing their passion without the pressure of like, you got to go have the Wall Street job and don't, you know, you're not going to make money. Well, you know, there, there is always that conversation with jewelry. You know, there's, there's jewelers who want to make artwork, which we sometimes call art jewelry, mm -hmm. studio jewelry. And then there's uh, other artists who want to make more of a line that's more fashion oriented right. or trend oriented. So, and there is that conversation here in Israel. Right. You amazing. know, that's Alal that and Shankar are amazing institutions that have fostered Aww. some of these people. Well, I'm 